such as um, diabetes and high cholesterol. Those things can be detected, believe it or not, through an eye exam before you're even aware, um, or even your primary care doctor can detect them. Some of the ocular conditions include the cataracts, diabetic retinopathy, uh, glaucoma and macular degeneration, and then the chronic health conditions that can be detected, uh, as I mentioned, diabetes, high cholesterol, even hypertension, which is high blood pressure. We're gonna take a quick look at each of these just so you can see um, how they can affect your vision and overall health. With cataracts, the image on your right-hand side you see is blurry. This is how cataracts begin. Um, the blurry or even dim vision, um, hard to see in any kind of lighting, especially low light, um, difficulty with night vision, which also includes halos around headlights and cars coming at you or street lights or traffic lights. You'll start to see that blurriness around the edges. Uh, sensitivity to light is also an early um, indication of cataracts forming. And then less frequently noticed because it is so gradual is the fading of colors or even they'll start to have a yellow tint. Diabetic retinopathy. This is a complication of diabetes, of course. Um, this is the leading cause of blindness in diabetics and it is a gradual condition that occurs. Um, these dark spots that you see on the image on your right, they start to form um, small little freckles, and then they gradually get bigger and bigger. If left untreated, can lead to total blindness. Glaucoma is another one that's pretty gradual. You'll see in this one, the vision is fading around the edges. Um, over time, this becomes uh, more and more towards the center and people with glaucoma experience tunnel vision. Glaucoma, unfortunately, is irreversible. Um, so early treatment to slow the progression of glaucoma is imperative. Macular degeneration, this is unfortunately age-related. Um, some people develop macular degeneration just as they age. Um, it's the part of the retina that controls the sharp, straight-headed vision. So that's why you'll see this vision loss starts in the center. And eventually that will spread to total vision loss if left untreated as well. Besides the diabetic macular degeneration, um, or I'm sorry, diabetic retinopathy, macular degeneration is the leading cause of legal blindness among people without diabetes. So because these medical and eye conditions, um, it's imperative for them to be detected early. And we, as I mentioned, heavily encourage people to get annual eye exams. We have included essential medical eye care benefits in with your VSP vision plan. And this is supplemental coverage. Uh, what it provides is coverage for um, retinal imaging covered in full for our diabetic members if they don't have diabetic eye disease yet. Um, if a diabetic member has diabetic eye disease, um, their medical coverage um, takes care of their eye services. So for a diabetic without the eye disease, all retinal imaging is covered in full, no copay. Um, retinal imaging, in case you're not aware, is the picture inside your eye. And the great thing about retinal imaging is not only can your eye care provider see really clear, detailed images of inside your eye, but over time they can compare those images year over year and look for any changes. Um, other coverage under essential medical eye care is treatment for any eye care emergencies such as pink eye, uh, debris in the eye, sudden loss of vision, um, ongoing monitoring of conditions like the glaucoma um, and diabetic eye disease that we talked about previously. So we're gonna take a look at your plans here in just a minute, but this essential medical eye care is included in both of the plan options available to you. It's unlimited. So you can use this benefit as many times as needed for yourself or any covered dependents. Um, I will say, if your eye care provider also takes your medical coverage, they most likely will bill your medical first. And then in that case, VSP will pay secondary. So the most out of pocket to you would be the $20 copay. 
So now we're going to dive into the two benefit options available to you, um, the base plan and the buyout plan. The base plan is provided to you um, by the district, and then you have the option to choose the buyout plan. So we'll take a look at both. Um, with the base plan, there's a $10 total copay. So just one copay of $10. The exam and materials are every other year. So if you use your exam and purchase glasses one year, two years from then you can use it again. With the buyout plan, it's a $10 exam copay and a $25 materials copay. However, these benefits are available every year. So exam and lenses, contacts or glasses available uh, once every year. Essential medical eye care, as I mentioned, included in both plans under that $20 copay. The frame allowance for the base plan is $105 plus 20% off any balance. For the buy-up plan, it's $150 and you still have that 20% off any balance. Lenses are covered in full, such as the single vision, line bifocal or line trifocal lenses. Impact resistant, also known as polycarbonate, lenses for dependent children are also covered in full. Other lens enhancements such as scratch coating, UV, tinting, photochromic, which are the light to dark lenses, on average, you'll save about 35 to 40% um, off of retail prices at a VSP provider. That's for both plans. On the buy-up plan, standard progressive lenses are covered in full. So progressive lenses are the no-line multifocal lenses. And there's three categories of standard progressive lenses. And really, the only dif uh, difference between the three is the technology involved. Um, some include anti-glare coating, uh, things like that. So the three categories are standard, premium, and custom. A lot of great lenses are included in the standard category of progressive lenses. So um, all of our VSP providers are aware that standard progressives are covered in full. So if you need them, they should show you a covered in full option. If the standards aren't a preference, uh, the premium and customs are covered after a $50 copay. Contact lens allowances uh, match the frame allowances. So 105 for, uh, for the base plan and 150 for the buy-up plan. On the base plan for the contact lenses, that 105 allowance includes lenses and the fit and follow-up exam if one is needed. On the buy-up plan, um, the fit and follow-up exam is covered in full and that 150 allowance is yours to use for lenses. You also receive an extra $20 uh, on your frame allowance if you select one of our featured frame brands. And here is a listing of them. You don't have to memorize this or um, take notes on these. They are available at vsp.com for you to browse and our um, in-network providers are aware as well. There's nothing for you to do. There's no coupon for you to print out. If you select one of these brands, that $20 added to your frame allowance um, happens automatically um, before you check out. So a lot of um, these manufacturers will run sales throughout the year um, and it'll be an extra $40 or an extra $50, things like that. Um, so we always encourage you before you um, go to a VSP provider, check out our website to see if there's any promotions running at the time. And that leads us into our exclusive member extras. Um, as you see down there in the middle of the page, um, sometimes they can be an extra $40 on the certain frame brands. Um, we also run promotions of um, an extra $40 off popular lens enhancements. That happens from time to time. Um, so again, we always encourage um, you to go to vsp.com, check out the extras, see if there's any promotions running. Um, we also run the promotions on sunglasses, um, contact lens rebates will be on there. Um, so great to check this out before you go and receive services. You also have available to you um, a 
discount through uh, our partner True Hearing on the latest in hearing aid technologies. I know that they just became available over the counter as well. Um, and they do have discounts for over the counter hearing aids through True Hearing. You can save up to 60% on hearing aids. They provide 48 free batteries um, in the first year. I didn't know this until we partnered with True Hearing, but hearing aid batteries only last about a week. So people go through them pretty, pretty often. Um, beautiful thing about True Hearing is not only is it available to you and your covered dependents, but also your extended family members and friends as well. So you um, can just refer them to True Hearing. They can go to truehearing.com forward slash VSP um, to get that started. They just mention, they'll ask how you were referred or how your friend or family was referred and they just say VSP and they, they're able to use this discount. Um, the True Hearing representative will help uh, find an audiologist, make an appointment. They work as your liaison through the entire process. So from the time of calling them, making an appointment and selecting hearing aids and ongoing customer service, you speak to the same person. So um, they're a great partner of ours. And we have a lot of our members take advantage of this, especially for elderly family members. So switching gears a little bit to the network and what's available to you, um, we have a large network of private doctors um, as well as um, VisionWorks, which BSP purchased a couple of years ago. I know that there's a lot of them um, to the south of us, but they're starting to expand in the Columbus area. Um, but with our private practice providers, um, they um, can join our premier program, which means they have to meet certain criteria to be a premier provider, such as they all must have retinal imaging um, available in their office, and they all must carry the majority of those featured frame brands that we looked at a couple minutes ago um, for you to receive that extra $20. They um, offer extended warranties on glasses, additional savings on lens enhancements, um, and things like that. So if you go to vsp.com and search for a provider, if they belong to our premier program, you'll see that little logo next to them. Also available to you is um, some national retail chains. Walmart is a big one, along with Sam's Club, um, Costco, Pearl Vision is in network, Clarkson Eye Care. So just to kind of name a few around our area that are available to you. If you're like me and like to shop online, we also have our own online eyewear site, iconic.com. It's VSP owned. Uh, we offer large selection of the featured frame brands for glasses and sunglasses, either prescription or non-prescription, um, as well as contact lenses. The wonderful thing about Iconic is if you are registered as a VSP member, which you can easily do at VSP.com, you can link your benefits to Iconic and they will apply those before you check out. So it's just like you're visiting um, a eye care provider in person and purchasing glasses. There's a virtual try on feature. The promotions that we talked about automatically apply on Iconic. Um, free shipping, free returns. I know sometimes glasses, the frames don't fit correctly. They either need loosened or tightened. You can take them to a VSP provider and they will do a complimentary fitting. Um, contact lens rebates will automatically apply most of the time, unless there's some of the lesser known contact manufacturers that don't have that capability. But for the most part, the contact lens rebates will automatically apply. I've been using Iconic for the past couple of years, and I've received my glasses within eight days from ordering them. So it's pretty, pretty fast. So if you're already enrolled or if you're thinking about enrolling, um, after which you can create an account, like I said, at VSP.com, you can really be pretty self-sufficient through the website. Really, the only things you cannot do is enroll or term yourselves or dependents. You have to go through your strategic staffing department for that. Um, and EOBs. EOBs are available through our customer care um, center if you need those. And that 800 number is right there for you. 
Um, they're able to answer questions if you're not enrolled yet. Um, if you think of any questions later, they can answer for you if you simply call them. Um, we do not issue ID cards. However, you can print them if you'd like after you're registered as a member. Our providers verify your eligibility simply by your name and date of birth. Um, if you happen to have a same name or a similar name as somebody in the same date of birth, they may ask for your last four digits of your social, but that's pretty rare. And that is everything as it pertains to vision. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat. I think we still have um, a few minutes before the next presentation so we can go through them. Yes, we do. Thank you so much, Wendy. Thank you My for pleasure. that presentation. We do have um, <clears throat> some questions in the chat. If you would like to, um, let's see, I'm going to... Jimmy, access or you want to read them? here. I can read them out. We have a question asking, where do you print the ID cards? So once you register as a member, there should be the option that you see on your homepage to print an ID card. Okay. About LASIK. Um, is LASIK covered? Oh, sure. Great question. So yes, um, it's not covered, but you do receive a discount. You receive 15% off any retail price of LASIK or 5% off any promotional um, sale that they may be running. So it's the US Laser Vision Network. And that's on our website as well. You can browse um, the providers that participate in our Laser Vision Network. Thank you. Sure. Let's see. And I am gonna just defer quickly to uh, my colleague, Nicole, if you see- Every other year. Okay. And on the buy-up plan, it's every year. So it just depends on which uh, plan you enroll. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And I want to thank everyone for your engagement in this session. I know that 30 minutes goes much quicker it than does. I always, <laughs> always anticipate it going. Mm -hmm. um, but if you do, if you all have questions, I will put my email address in the chat and, and make sure to get you over to the appropriate party, whether it's Wendy or whether it's our benefits or strategic staffing department to make sure those questions are answered. Uh, but Wendy, thank you so much for joining us today. I guess we know we need more time now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it goes fast. <laughs> yeah, it goes really fast, but thank you so much. My pleasure. Um, for joining us, Wendy. Hopefully we will be in touch soon. Yeah, if um, any questions pop up, feel free to email them to me and I'll get right back to you. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. And we're getting a lot of thank yous in the chat, if you can see. My pleasure, everyone. Thank you so much for your time and for joining. I hope this was helpful. It was. It certainly was. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank okay. you. No problem. Well, good afternoon or almost evening, everyone. I'm Dave Fitch with Delta Dental of Ohio. And we just want to talk about some dental benefits. Uh, so what you have access to as far as benefits go, we'll talk about our networks. We'll talk about our foundation and some uh, added benefits that Delta Dental has that can help you along the way. So uh, we'll get started. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And I'll leave it to you. If you want to ask questions during the presentation, that's great. I feel sometimes if you if you don't ask the question, maybe you'll forget by the end or anything like that. So, you know, it's it's up to you. You're more than welcome to ask me questions, and I'll also be around at the end of the of the presentation as well to answer any questions. Okay, so we'll start out with some plan highlights. So you have Delta Dental's PPO point of service plan. We get, that gets you access to both of our networks and we'll cover that a little bit later. Uh, so the maximums and deductibles on the plan, the maximums and deductibles on the plan, it's $1,500 per person. That's for all the benefits, excluding orthodontic coverage. There's a separate benefit for that. And then there's no deductible either. So when, when you visit the dentist, uh, some plans have a deductible, you know, that you would pay first. This plan does not have that. So there's, there is no deductible. So we'll talk about some of the benefits here that are available. Uh, the coverage that runs from January 1st until December 31st, that is your uh, calendar year. So some diagnostic and preventive services. Uh, what you'll see when I go through these benefits, right in the middle of the kind of top the, in the screen font, it says Delta Dental PPO Dentist, Delta Dental Premier Dentist, and then non-participating. Space maintainers, 
and your x-rays or radiographs, uh, those are all at the 100% benefit level. So it's important to know to, to go out and get those, those services done, your preventive services, just like it is on your medical plan. It's just as important to go get these services done on the dental side as well. Uh, down at the bottom, it talks about at-risk health conditions. So certain folks or members with at-risk health conditions may be eligible for extra cleanings throughout the year if they meet certain criteria. Okay, we'll talk about that just in a little bit as well. So some of the basic services that are covered are uh, minor restorative services, which are your fillings and repairs to crowns, endodontics, which are root canals, periodontic services, which periodontic services are the deeper root cleanings. Uh, so those are covered at, at the basic level. Uh, oral surgery, extractions and dental surgery fall within this category as well. And then the relines and repairs to uh, prosthetic appliances uh, with we'll, we'll just, just the repairs and relines though, not, not the actual device. That's a separate benefit. We'll talk about it uh, or cover to 80%. Uh, other basic services. So this is a very large category of miscellaneous items, um, consults, anesthesia. There's a number of basic services that fall within this category. Uh, those are all at 80%. And then your crowns are covered also at 80%. Crowns are actually covered under major, major services, and typically that's a different percentage benefit, but on your plan, you have it at 80, uh, 80 percent at the same as basic, which is a great benefit. For major res restorative services here, so this is prosthodontic services, these are, you, this will be your bridges, dentures, implants, and then crowns over an implant. Those are covered at the 50 percent level, okay? Any questions on the benefits so far? Yes, David, we do. We have a question. Okay. Someone would like to continue or restart their braces treatment. Will benefits cover this? <laughs> uh, yes, they will. We're, we're just about to start the ortho part of it here. So I'll, I'll cover some of that. And then hopefully that answers the question. If not, we'll address it specifically. Perfect. And we have one more um, really good question. Someone asked if they have anxiety surrounding dental visits, does Delta Dental provide any sort of assistance or support services um, so, for someone who has those anxieties? Yeah, there it is possible. Um, so this is a, so we have like special healthcare needs benefits for sure for those those members that, that have special healthcare needs. And then there are covered codes out there that would help a person in those scenarios. What I would highly suggest to do, not every code is covered for every service that's being rendered. So what I would suggest for that is to have your dentist present and, and submit to Delta Dental a pre-treatment estimate. And what that would entail is having all the codes they're gonna use on a real claim and it acts kind of like a dummy claim. So we would receive that, put it through our system. It would match up the codes they're gonna bill into our system to make sure they're covered codes. And we would be able to let you know that before you had the service done. That would be my recommendation on that. Some kind, Sometimes codes uh, for those types of services, it, it depends on what you're having done for, for the underlying service. Uh, so sometimes, like for example, like anesthesia with a cleaning, that's typically not a covered benefit, typically, you know. Um, so that's where I'm suggesting the pretreatment estimate. So we would know exactly what services are being rendered and to, to determine if that's a covered benefit before you have the service. Okay. So here's the orthodontic information. So orthodontic, it is covered under the plan. It's a 50% benefit. There is no age limit, which is, a, a, it's great that there's no age limit on this. Um, typically it's up to age 19. It's $1,000 per eligible person. That's the maximum benefit. And that's a separate benefit from your regular dental max. Okay, so orthodontic is essentially its own class of benefit. So uh, it's $1,000 per lifetime maximum. And the, to the person that asked the question, so if, if they had ortho um, and I'm, I have to presume a little bit on this is, I don't know if it was covered while they were covered under this plan or not, uh, you know, rendered. Um, so if they've not met the, the maximum, they should still have benefit left over you know, from, from the, the previous time. But how this would, would happen is uh, it, it could go case by case, or if it was a little bit case by case. So what they do um, for, you know, when, when this, comes into us, again, a pretreatment estimate would, would 
get you this information prior to having the work done. So I have the orthodontist submit that to Delta Dental. Uh, but what they do is they take um, the initial banding fee, which is typically about 30% of the total allowed amount, okay? And then we pay the band, banding fee according to the plan, which is a 50% benefit for the plan that, that, that you have, okay? And then we continue to make payments after that banding fee dependent upon the treatment plan. So sometimes it's 18 months, sometimes it's, you know, 24, 10, you know, it just depends on what the, the treatment is. So we, we essentially make payments for whatever type of treatment is being rendered uh, according to the actual treatment plan itself. And then, uh, so we'll pay those benefits at 50% until that lifetime maximum has been reached or until the treatment stops, whichever comes first on that. So, uh, and we pay that quarterly as well to the dentist each month. So when you're seeking out a orthodontist, just like on your dental plan, you wanna make sure you're going in network. That's how you're gonna save the most money by going to an, either a PPO dentist or a premier dentist. Uh, either one of those is in network. Uh, we'll get into the network stuff here in just a couple minutes, but I just wanted to make sure you know that on the orthodontic side of it, there's also in network and out of network orthodontist as well. And you definitely wanna go in network to save the most money. Thank you, Dave. No problem. So extra benefits when you need them is the title of this page. Essentially, uh, I talked about this just a couple moments ago. There are certain at-risk health conditions that if a person has some of the, one of these conditions and they have periodontal disease, you may be eligible for additional cleanings throughout the year based on that. There's a direct link uh, with, through science and research that shows that oral health has a significant impact on your medical conditions as well. Okay, there's a direct link for oral health and overall health. So the, the dental plan includes additional cleanings uh, for perio maintenance uh, based on some, some at-risk conditions. Some of these conditions can include, it's not limited to this, but it's including uh, diabetes and gum disease, high-risk pregnancies, individuals that are at risk for uh, infective endocarditis, uh, head and neck radiation patients, renal failure and dialysis patients. So if you fall within that situation or you've been diagnosed with any of those conditions and gum disease or periodontal disease, what you, what you should do is reach out to your dentist and let them know that you have extra benefits available through your, your dental plan and they will work with uh, getting the information submitted to Delta Dental and also they, they may contact or have you contact your, your medical doctor as well to provide documentation for these conditions. So we would highly recommend anyone in this, in this situation to, to seek this out. Um, so it's just an added benefit. These benefits do track towards your annual maximum. So you will, um, it, it falls within the preventive category, but it will track towards your annual maximum. So I just wanna make sure you understand that as well. Okay, so I mentioned this a couple times about our networks. So I just wanna make sure we talk about it here. If you guys have any questions about the networks, please let me know. I, I love talking about our networks and specifically explaining them to folks because this is how you're gonna save the most money, okay? Um, first and foremost, please go in network. So we have one network called the PPO network. The other is called the Premier network. And please don't let the name fool you. Premier does not necessarily mean better. Okay, that's just simply the name of the network. So PPO and Premier, those are our networks, and you have access to both networks. As long as you see a dentist that's in one or the other network, you're going in network, you're getting great discounts. The difference in PPO and Premier is that the PPO has the largest discounts available under the plan, okay? The, the network itself, the number of dentists in the PPO network is a little bit smaller than the Premier network, but the discount in PPO is the highest that you can possibly get, okay? So if you go to an in-network dentist, please try to see, go to PPO or Premier, either one. If you go to the Premier network, it is a larger network in size and there are more, you know, there's more dentists in that network, but you will not receive the highest discount available, okay? So you're still getting a great discount in Premier, but if you go to PPO, the discount's higher, you're gonna save more money. Okay, those are the, the, the biggest differences. Uh, PPO and Premier, 
the dentists are no less skilled in one network versus the other. It's simply they've agreed to a certain contract for each for each network. Okay, it's nothing to do with the dentist specifically. Um, it's it's essentially their the, the fee schedule that they've agreed to. So um, so please try to go to one of those. If you're getting referred out or you you have something expensive, I would highly rec recommend going to PPO because that's how you're going to save the most money. So when you choose an in-network dentist, the in-network dentist cannot balance bill you. So every dental service has an allowed amount. If the dentist bills over that allowed amount, then that's their um, their write-off essentially for you going in-network. Okay. Now when you go out of the network, we cannot control that. So if they bill you above the allowed amount, they can balance bill you for that difference. Okay. So we try not to to do that. So please try to go in-network. Uh, there's no there's no balance billing within network, so you're, you'll get a warranty on the work. They submit the claim for you. Um, we pay the dentist directly, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, when you go out of the network, there's no savings. They can balance bill you, and a lot of times they don't file the claim for you, uh, so you have to do that yourself. So again, just please try to go in network when you can. We'll cover some of the, the network highlights here uh, as far as the payment example goes. Uh, so this is our point of service plan, here's how it works. So at the left-hand side, you'll see Delta Dental PPO, Delta Dental Premier, and then non-participating. So this example is showing a dentist that submits a fee of $1,000. And you'll see in the maximum allowed column in PPO, the example shows $610. So the difference of what the dentist billed in, in the 610, that's your discount for going in network, okay? The plan in this scenario pays 80%, so Delta Dental pays out the $488 if you went to a PPO dentist, and then you owe $122 as the patient. If you went to a premier dentist, that same $1,000, the allowed amount is $840. It's still an 80% benefit, but 80% of 840 is 672, so that's how much Delta Dental pays, and then you would owe $168. Okay, so what you can see is the allowed amounts different in PPO and Premier. The allowed amount in, in PPO is, is, is essentially getting you a better discount. Okay, if you go outside the network, it's, you're still covered. You still have coverage. We still process the claims. Uh, but what you're going to see is if the dentist bills $1,000 and let's say the allowed amount is $770, we pay out the 80% of the $770 just like we would in PPO and Premier, which is $616. And you'll see over at the right, you would owe 384. The reason you owe $384 is because you're also getting billed. When the dentist bills $1,000 and we allow $770, he can bill you the difference in that $1,770. Okay. Where if they're in network, they cannot do that. They cannot balance bill that discount. Out of network, they can. So I just want to make sure that you understand that when you go in network, that's how you're going to save the money. You have that balance billing protection and then uh, the dentist cannot come back and bill you for that later on. How to find a dentist in our network. So it's, it's fairly simple to do this. If you go out to deltadentaloh.com and then click on the link at the top that says find a dentist, uh, you'll see PPO and Premier listed. If there's a drop down, you'll select Delta Dental PPO plus Premier, and then that'll drop down. You can search dentist by name, you can search by location, zip code, those types of items, you can you can search that on there. So um, as the slide says, PPO dentists save you the most money. We've talked about that a couple of times. There is no ID required, ID card required. So when you go to the dentist, you simply give them your social and they can pull you up with that information. So like I mentioned earlier, there's a direct link between or your oral health and your overall health. Uh, dentists and can recommend um, or I'm sorry, dentists can recognize 120 signs and symptoms of uh, non-dental disease that can be detected in an oral exam. So during your routine checkups, they don't always just look for cavities and gum disease, but they're also monitoring um, your overall health as well. So that's something that's very important. Please go get your preventive items, uh, your preventive services done. We'll talk about some member tools. This is just basic information here, how to contact us. This is our toll-free customer service number which is 1-800-524-0149. And there's some other member tools available as well. 
This used to be called Consumer Toolkit. It's now called Member Portal. It is your online portal where you can go on and get information uh, regarding your own plan. So if you need to look at your benefits, print an EOB. If you have two coverages and you need an explanation of benefits from one to give to the other, this is how you get that information. Uh, you can see how much annual max has been used. Uh, you can you know, confirm all of your pertinent information, demographic information. Uh, there's a dental cost estimator on there as well. That's a, that's a pretty nice tool to have. We have a mobile app. It has all that same information I just discussed on there. It also has a mobile ID card because we don't issue ID cards. So you can go out and uh, you can get that information on your mobile phone and then it'll, you'll have a mobile ID card on there as well. So other tools that are available on our website, uh, wellness materials, you can find your dentist, of course, as I mentioned, there are health articles and videos out on the website. If your dentist is out of network, you can refer your dentist through the, through the website as well. There are um, oral health materials and resources for children on there, along with, uh, like I mentioned, the oral health videos. There are lesson plans out there for grades one through four that, are, that you can download. Um, so that's, that's all available right there on deltadentaloh.com. Delta Dental was a nonprofit, not for profit. So, out on our website, you can find information about the foundation. There are grant opportunities out there as well, affordable uh, dental care information, scholarships and awards, uh, education materials. Our corporate citizenship has articles out there. Um, so, you know, we we encourage you to go out and and uh, take a look at this part of our website through the foundation. There are many grants out there as well, so you're more than welcome to share that. Uh, it doesn't just have to be a client um, that they're not, you know, the, the grants are for everyone, not just clients, I guess is what I should say. So if you have a, a situation or another organization that you are a part of, you can refer that and uh, they can go out here and apply for those grants as well. Is, you don't have to be a specific client of Delta Dental to do that. And I know that was a lot of information. To, to try to get in 25 minutes here. So um, yep. do you guys have any questions? Um, I know I covered a lot of info there. You did it phenomenally. So <laughs> thank you for that. We do actually have a few questions in the chat. And also if you'd like to um, unmute yourself, you can. One of the one of the first questions was, are treatment such as Invisalign, um, Smile Direct Club and Candid covered? The answer, the easy answer is yes on that. But what I, I need to make sure you understand is there are many different classifications of Invisalign. And sometimes um, it, it oftentimes gets pushed to being DIY, do it yourself ortho. And that is not covered. If it, So you have to be under the, the care of a licensed orthodontist. All the information has to be submitted and you have to be under the direct care of an orthodontist in order for it to be covered. If it's one of the, the commercials you've seen on TV where they mail you, you, know, you take the impressions at home and mail it back in, that would not be covered. And I know it's uh, um, that, that gets asked a lot. So as long as it's being submitted and you're under the care of a licensed orthodontist, yes, that would, that would be covered. Again, the pretreatment estimate on that is going to yeah. be key because we don't know what the codes are before it's submitted to prevent you from getting into a situation where you thought it would be covered and it's not. I would highly recommend a pretreatment estimate for that because we'll, we'll run it through our claim system. It'll match up against any benefits you've had throughout the rest of the year and then we will show you a printout essentially of what will be covered with that with the specific codes that are on the pretreatment estimate. Thank you, David. That's actually a really good question. I know there are a lot of services that, you know, like you mentioned, that you see on the internet, um, a lot of uh, less uh, in person. So that's a good question um, about those Invisalign and orthodontic services. We have a couple of questions also um, about fluoride treatments. Um, people saying that their in-network dentist told them that it wasn't covered for adults. Uh, that is... I'm looking it up here real quick. There is an age limit on it. Let me see if I can find it real quick here. I'll pull this up as we're going through it. Thank you.
fluoride treatments are payable twice per calendar year for ages 18 and under for your plan. Thank you. That actually answered two questions in the chat. Um, we have one more, another question. Someone says that last year cavities were covered 100% um, if they remember correctly, but now they were billed for 20% after the visit. Is that a normal practice now? Um, so that, I would look into that specifically. Um, it, it, you know, those are always typically always covered under basic services and that's where they're at right now. So I, I don't think that, I don't think that was what occurred possibly. Um, so fillings are, are included, uh, but they're at the major, or excuse me, they're at the basic service level, which is the 80% benefit. Now, what this person received as far as treatment goes, I would like to, you know, we could look at something specific on that, a specific um, claim type to see what was actually built in. But no, that, that typically does always covered under the, uh, the basic service, which is an 80% benefit. Thank you. Uh, we have another question. Someone asking why PPO is better than Premier. So the PPO dentists are on a different fee schedule. Those, are, those dentists have agreed to take a lesser fee, which enables you as a patient to get a higher discount. So the skill level, uh, that type of thing is the same. So dentist and PPO or Premier, it, that doesn't mean anything necessarily. It's the difference is simply this uh, PPO dentist has agreed to a different fee schedule that allows the patient to have a larger discount. Okay, Premier dentists have also agreed to, to provide a discount for the patients. It's just a different level than what the, the PPO dentists have done. So the, the higher discount is in PPO. If you're looking to save the most money, uh, go to the PPO network. The other thing going to, to PPO over Premier can help you is you have a $1,500 benefit so to use throughout the year per person. So if you're receiving a higher discount per claim in PPO, you can have more services done throughout the year because you're, uh, you're getting a higher discount. Therefore, the plan's paying out less money on each claim, which allows you to get more services for that same $1,500. Uh, this is me, Maha Isa, and I'm, uh, my question, how do I know if I have the PPO or Premier? Okay, so what I would suggest to do is go to our website, and that website mm -hmm. is deltadentaloh.com. Okay. Okay, and mm -hmm. your dentist, if they're in network, they'll be in one or the other of those networks. So what I would suggest to do is go out there. And, mm -hmm. and click on at the very top, it'll say find a dentist. Oh, okay. Click on that and then put in that dentist's last name in the search criteria. Okay? okay, thank you. And then they will let you know. And then the other thing you could do is you could give them a call. Uh, but what I would, if you're gonna call a dentist, I would ask them specifically, uh, are you a member of the Delta Dental Network? And the, they'll tell you yes or no. And then you could say, are you a member of the Delta Dental Premier Network? And they'll tell you yes or no. Uh, what I would not do for if you're going to call a dentist is say, hi, I'm calling to see if you take Delta Dental. So even an out-of-network dentist will take Delta Dental. Okay, so ask them specifically, are you in the Delta Dental PPO network or are you in the Premier network? And they'll, they'll, they'll give you that answer if you ask them the spe uh, specific question. Thank you. You're welcome. The, um, uh, networks, you don't have that on your website somewhere where we – don't have to ask where we could just go and see if you have a list of just yep. you can certainly to... yep you can certainly do that go out to delta dental mm -hmm. then at the very very top of the page you will see where it's uh, i'm pulling this up as we're doing it here you will see at the very top it's like a blue color it says find a dentist okay so you'll click on that and then you'll scroll down just a little bit toward the bottom where it says delta dental ppo and delta dental premier you'll click mm -hmm. on that and it'll be a green link and then from there, you can enter in your search criteria and get, so a dentist's last name, uh, you can put in your zip code, that type of stuff, however you want to search for it. And it will list out the dentists that are in network. And you can either print that or you can email it to you. There's a, a button on there where you can click and it'll email it to you, that type of thing. It's all right there on the website. Yes. Um, your, the standard um, or the basic services such as cleaning, that counts against your 1500 correct yes it does yes 
There's no deductible on it, but any service that's rendered on the dental plan will count towards the annual maximum of 1500, yes. Copy, thank you. Thank you, that's a really good question. Do we have any more questions tonight? You guys all, thank you for your engagement. Some really great questions for Dave tonight. Do they ever increase the maximum? The 1500. So typically that is something that the employer and Delta Dental work out as far as what is what, what meets the need for the dental plan uh, for each person. So the, to answer the question, no, they, we don't just necessarily increase that each year or regularly. Uh, but there are things like I mentioned that you can do to, to help yourself use that 1500 more efficiently and that would be going to the PPO dentist because you're getting the higher discount when you're going to PPO, which means the plan is paying out less money technically because the dentist is taking the larger discount. So when you're going to PPO, that $1,500 max is getting used more efficiently on every claim throughout the year. So you can have more services for that $1,500 when you're going to a PPO dentist. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And David, we have a question in the chat. What was the website again? The website is deltadentaloh.com. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, before we before we kind of wrap up here, do we have any more questions? None so far. Well, we have, uh, Dave, if you have a chance to peek into the chat, lots of thank yous going in. Um, a lot of people saying really great information. So we want to thank you for participating in tonight's EFLO session. We really do appreciate all of the content. And like we said with the previous presenter, I think we know now uh, we could probably use more than 30 minutes uh, <laughs> for all the information. So hopefully we can have you back on Um we would love to have, you know, another session because this is all really great information and we want to make sure everyone's getting the best use out of their benefits. Um, so thank you again, Dave. We got lots of um, amazing information it. we're hearing. So we do appreciate you so much. Um, if we do have any more questions from anyone, please, uh, you can feel free to email me and I can make sure that we get that information over to Dave or to our benefits department. Uh, but if there are no more questions, I hope that you all enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, and we hope to see you next time. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. And hopefully thank everyone you so much. enjoyed the information. We did lots of check the chat out before you leave. We have lots okay. and lots of thank yous. Uh, 